Hello, my name is Mariah and I am a Valley member and currently an elder serving on session with the Educational Ministries team. I am honored to have been invited to share with you today in this minute permission about the Presbytery of the Twin Cities area anti-racism pilgrimage and uh, my experience so far with it and um, some challenges as well. So the um, anti-racism pilgrimage has been really rewarding so far and very thorough and thoughtfully put together. Uh, and I was, I'm very grateful to be able to participate in it and learn from the readings and all of and the videos and things that are assigned each week for us and to um, be committing the time. Um, on the flip side, the time has been the challenge, truthfully, and carving out that hour or two each week to do the to do the assignments and the reflection and the prayer has been um, a striking struggle for me, and um, I think that is not entirely surprising because we all have busy lives and have a lot to do and. Um, even with COVID, where things have slowed down a lot, there's still there's still a lot to get done, and um, I think that that has been a wake up call for me personally of um, what I want to the change that I want to see happen and the importance that I give to this to the racial justice movement and to combating racism in my community and my state and my country. Um, but um, this, at the same time, it's hard to to give the time that I should be giving. So that has been the wake up call for me throughout the whole process is that I need to be more, I need to be more intentional with the time that I am giving to this process. And um, I think that is the same challenge that I would give to you as we are celebrating tomorrow a man who gave who gave his life for a large movement that was bigger than himself and gave all of his time and suffered a lot personally um, because of that that dedication that he had. Um, so as we celebrate Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. tomorrow, I would challenge you to reflect, as I know I will be doing, on your contribution and what you can give and what talents and time you can commit um, to these issues that might not directly impact me or you, but do directly impact some people in very serious ways. And it's easy to not make them a focus when it's not right in my face all the time. But I know that it gravely hurts my brothers and sisters and that is not okay. So I would issue that challenge to you and thank you for your time. Um, as I've shared a little bit about the anti-racism pilgrimage, and I hope that you have a wonderful Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day tomorrow. Thank you.